Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to give you an overview and review of the Breffel range. Um, this two products that were sent to me by Scott at Breffo and um, I really appreciate him reaching out um, for me to review these. We, on the left hand side you've got the tablet stand, on the right hand side you've got the smartphone, um, the sm a smartphone holder. Um, these are the boxes that um, they come with and I basically got them both out and I've got the tablet one right here. So as you can see, it is a versatile, very, very versatile stand. Now they don't have to only be used with tablets. Um, for example, this one is the tablet one. It doesn't have to be only used with tablets. It can be used with anything and anything I can think of. Um, the beauty of it is because it's got um, its eight arms, it can really be versatile and go in any sort of position you want. The arms are actually very um, solid, as you can see, they stick up and they can hold quite a bit of weight. And more so, um, they're quite versatile. I can do any sort of thing I want with them and they stick in their position. They're very, very solid. I've got to say, I've been trying them out for a little while, and especially the smart, um, the tablet one, sorry, as it's got a little thicker um, thicker rod, shall I say, coming out, it means that it's actually tougher. Um, in, in, in that respect, I mean it's much more uh, solid. And um, I've just been playing around with this uh, in every uh, shape or form. Uh, let me just show you, for example, a little silly example of what it can hold. Here's my Xbox 360, and it keeps the Xbox 360 off the ground. So. I'm just going to bring down the camera for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And as you can see, it keeps it off the ground like that. So, I mean, this could be useful for, for example, creating airflow. Um, I know Xbox 360s are renowned for having overheating problems. And if you want to just keep it off the ground but keep it level, you know, you don't want to um, cause any uh, disc scratching or whatnot, you can get one of these and put them underneath. So really, they can be used for anything and everything that I can possibly think of. Um, however, now you're wondering, where is your smartphone one, Chris? Well, it's pretty simple. The smartphone one is actually on my bicycle. So as I said, you can put them on anything. And on the Breffel website, it, they showed that you can put on a bicycle. And as a, um, a keen uh, cyclist myself, uh, I was like, well, this would be pretty cool to put on my bike. So what I'm going to do is take my Galaxy S3, and I've already got it on my bike already. So as you can see over here, it's right at the front. Just here is a small smartphone one. So as you can see, the 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 strands are much more thinner. The actual uh, design itself is much uh, smaller because obviously it's supposed to fit a smartphone and not a tablet. And what I've done is attached it underneath as well. Now I'll try and show you this over here. And I've done a little sort of um, a tie, so to speak. Um, I've I've put them on itself and um, I've made them really, really tight over there so it doesn't move. So as you can see, I've tried to make it as tight as possible. Look, I could probably lift the bike with this. Uh, my front end is a bit um, heavy on my bike, but um, it is really, really solid. Um, and what I'm going to do is show you how it looks like with the phone on it. So I just put the tripod down and get my phone out and put my phone in over here make sure it's secure and tighten it up whichever way I want the beauty of this is that it's got customization I can customize it the way I want and the way I want it to look and so there you go now I've got my S3 on my bike and this is really really useful I mean I know a smartphone holder is quite useful just generally speaking but Putting on the bike, especially for me, for someone who uses navigation and doesn't know all the routes, this is really useful because now I can um, I can use Google Maps on the go, uh, whenever I want, and on the bike. And I've got to say, it is really solid. I'm just going to shake the bike around quite a lot, and you guys will be able to see how solid it actually is. And you'll see the, the thing won't actually fly off. So remember, it's at the top over there just make sure it's secure. And the reason I'm doing this is because I know there'll be people which uh, like my mountain biking and uh, people which want to, I don't know, go on something which is a little more rocky. So,
I mean, I can't emphasize how much force that is. I mean, that is more than you will experience um, if, you're, if you're actually cycling. And if you're on the roads, you're gonna be mainly on a flat surface. You're never gonna experience bumps like that. But as you can see, I just did that and look, unchanged. It's perfectly fine as it is. And obviously if it does get loose, oh, well, it's pretty easy. You just adjust it a little bit. You just make your little adjustments and bang, you're there, you're done again. Um, I really, really love this product and for 15 pounds, it is absolutely excellent. And just to give you an idea of like the price comparison uh, between um, holders, like official holders and whatnot, I've actually got the Samsung, um, the stock Samsung um, like battery charger thing, which looks like this. And this goes over here, and this cost, with a battery, £25. Um, I know it's a bit too much, and I'm sure you can get other ones and whatnot. However, just for the fact that I can't really do anything with it, I can just put it there, and it will fall off easily, and sometimes it even does, it even does that. I mean, it's a good product, don't get me wrong, from Samsung, but when you compare it to what you could get, for example, from Brefo, from this um, spider-esque uh, holder, I've got to say, it's absolutely amazing. These products really, really surprise me, um, especially on the bike. I, I'm, I'm really keen cyclist, and I've really got to say, um, putting that on there as like a, as a navigation, having it on there, it just gives me that extra bit of flexibility and um, that bit of um, freedom in terms of not having it to take take out my phone out of my pocket and stop the bike and say, where am I on the map? Where do I have to go now? Now I can just leave it there, even have my music plugged in if I wanted to, and just continue cycling and having the maps just update me, literally straight in front of me. Absolutely brilliant product guys. I really really would suggest it even if you want it on the desk I originally had it on the desk uh, And then I realized I was like wait a second This would be really good on the on the bike and I looked at Breffa website and I was like oh look They even have a demonstration of it on a bike and I've got to say Since I saw that video I was like well for sure I have to put it on the bike because it's something I've been always uh, wondering and looking to get and I, I, I can't recommend it enough guys. Go out of there and get it. I'll link down in the description uh, purchase links and whatnot and the description of it. Go ahead, buy it and let me know your opinions afterwards. If you don't buy it and you buy a normal stand, well, I've got to say you, you're absolutely crazy for doing that because for the price you pay, for, for example, the smartphone one, which is only 15 pounds, I'm sure a lot of you have um, smartphones on my channel and I'm sure you guys would appreciate how good it is. And it comes in a variety of colors as well. The one I had was black and this one's gray. It comes with a variety of colors, even neon. Uh, in other words, you can have it uh, glow in the dark. Now, <laughs> now, if you have that on a bike, as no glow in the dark. That's actually kind of security as well in terms of protection from uh, motorists and, um, and uh, people which are driving their cars and whatnot. Uh, because it will glow in the dark, so that means during the day it will sort of charge up and at night uh, you'll have a little glow in the dark front um, light. Okay, not designed as a light, but like a little little beacon on top of your um, your handlebar showing you <laughs> where you are and whatnot. That, that is really cool, I've got to say. So again guys, if you want to to check it out, do definitely check it out. As I said, 15 pounds and 25 pounds. There's definitely a, a difference in price and you can see the difference in price because this is not only bigger, not only more solid and more rigid, um, uh, but it's just a, it just seems a more sturdy product. But this won't fit a smartphone. I mean, you could try if you really wanted to, to try and put it around and whatnot for the for the S3. And the S3 is quite a big smartphone, relatively speaking. Um, for example, I can get the Note and it'll be a little bit bigger, maybe a bit more suited for the tablet. But the smartphone one really fits smartphones. If you've got a tablet, a Samsung uh, tablet or uh, an iPad or whatnot, then get the, t uh, the tablet version. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, definitely suggest going out and buying these. Um, it's a UK based company as well, which is even better because I really appreciate when companies are made in, you know, made in UK, made in USA and whatnot, made in UK company, uh, UK based and can't support it enough. All right guys, take care, totally dubbed out, bye bye.